Let's go. We're on our way to the Grace Women's Center in Baytown. At Grace Women's Center of Baytown, Dr. Patricia Fry Murray and Associates have been serving our community for over 20 years, specializing in obstetrics and gynecology. Look at their Facebook page. Methodist Hospital OBGYN Dr. Patricia Fry seems so welcoming, so friendly. Dr. This Fry, is private property. I would like to talk to you about. You will bit. not record me. I bring out the best in folks. The doctor, she's been sued four times for malpractice. Once for leaving gauze inside a patient's body. All the cases were non-suited, but on Facebook, the allegations get so much worse. One former patient claims she walked around with placenta pieces left in her body for six weeks. Another claimed her aunt's colon was taken out instead of her ovaries. Another left with a hole in her bladder. We'll get off your property. If you don't want to answer our questions, we want to talk to you about some litigation against you. No. When the friendly Dr. Fry sued a former employee, wait till you see the counterclaim. Alleged sexual harassment by this guy, the doctor's husband, who allegedly told the worker, well, I'll let you read it. He allegedly told employees he was the, quote, only white guy that was hung well enough to shower with the black men. Sir, if you don't want to lose that 2,000, 5,000 pieces Are you going to grab it? No, don't, don't, don't assault Just, No, no, don't do that. He wanted us to leave too, but wanted to confiscate our video first. You're not leaving. We are leaving. You're not going to leave with that. Oh, yeah, I am. Don't, really? don't, 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 don't make a mistake. You. Don't make a mistake. He's a psychologist. Uh, yes, Dr. Bear Murray. At the Grace Woman Center, he's known as Dr. Murray. Even though we can find no evidence he's actually licensed as a medical doctor, even a psychologist. Doc, are you a licensed MD, by the way? Because in there, they were calling you Dr. Murray. Are you a licensed medical doctor? Murray is a professional counselor and has been part of the Grace Woman Center for years. When his wife diagnoses a deeper hormonal or behavioral issue, patients are referred to him. His office is in the couple's residence next door, Swan Mansion. 6711 Solander Road in Baytown, truly a magnificent property, over 10 acres. Take a look at this, a view from the front of the house as you enter the private drive up to the fountain, just amazing. It shares more than a driveway with the woman's clinic, also a beautiful pool, a spa, even a logo. Dr. Fry is listed on property records as the owner of both buildings on Showlander Road on the edge of the city of Baytown. And according to this lawsuit, Swan Mansion is also a venue for sex parties. One former employee of the Woman's Center alleges Murray tried to lure her over to Swan Mansion for something very different than work. This is a sex club. No, it's not. It's not? So what comes after the dinner? What comes after dinner? What's the dessert? Is the what dessert is sex? No. Desserts, cream brulee, bourbon cheesecake. No sex. No sex. They're advertising on swingersclublist.com, a website we found during our investigation in Kima. Dr. Fry advertises that one of her patients is the former mayor of Kima. No sex takes place here. Does it take place at Motel 6? Does it take place at any motel. breakfast? This is a bed and, that is a bed and breakfast. You can stay till breakfast, but only if you're a member of this private club. Um, are there people um, semi-nude on your website? Define semi-nude. Well, it's your ad. Instead, it's what the Swan Mansion prefers to call adult healthy development. To join this unusual bed and breakfast, you have to pay a $125 initiation fee and then 25 bucks a month. So if I called here, could I come here and stay here as the bed and breakfast? Depends upon if you meet my criteria or not. If you go to Swan Mansion's website, you'll see you need to send a photo, prepare to answer particular personal questions so Mr. Murray can optimize an evening spent together. He touts his healthcare credentials to prove he can keep secrets. And you have to agree not to talk about what happens inside this place. Maybe you recognize the so-called doctor from a TV show that used to air on TLC, My Husband's Three Wives. I don't believe in monogamy. 
Bear Murray was making headlines 20 years ago. Not a lot of polygamists in Waller County. He wrote the book Three Ring Marriage under the name Brian Murray Wachtendorf about polygamy, his repeated marriage troubles, and his supposed work as a DEA spy. Not sure I've ever heard of an appearance swingers club also being the site of a counseling center. I can't separate the two issues and I'll tell you why. Because that place refers women to you. You've had one wife die of so what some call suspicious circumstances. A post on Facebook raises questions about whether Bear's background and his unusual office setting is even known to his patients. Ask yourself why your wives kill themselves. Another wife who says that you verbally abused her and yet you're the person she's advising people to go talk to to get help with their depression and their relationships. And I think that's something people have a right to know. Back in February, the parking lot was full for the Sweethearts and Tarts event for Valentine's Day. We looked for car owners to tell us more about the mansion, the midnight buffet after a clothing change. They want arousal here. We're told nudity is allowed upstairs in the frolicking rooms. Oh, it's a private club. It's a private club. Ah, it's a private club where people have sex. No. But apparently not much of a secret. Folks who saw our confrontation started posting on Facebook, probably checking out the swinger story one wrote. In 2019, Dr. Fry and Mr. Murray bought the mansion in what would become the Woman Center in an auction that was advertised in the Chronicle. But the newspaper didn't cover the legal war that's ensued ever since from this Baytown real estate deal. Even the auctioneer, Mark Thomas, is involved in the lawsuits. You can't get to Watch where you're me. wanting to go. Watch you're not me. coming through this gate. Yes, I am. Fights over sprinklers. Allegations the Murrays are dumping sewage on the neighbor's property. Murray is just sued again, claiming that two years ago, he tripped over a railroad tie. The lawsuits have put the mansion back in the spotlight. The city of Baytown is now trying to keep secret any complaints about what's going on here. The former owners have been complaining to the mayor's office for months. We've been asking why Swan Mansion is different than any other sexually oriented business which are prohibited in the city of Baytown, including adult encounter parlors. The city can't seem to answer. And I'm sorry if you don't like what my investigation's about, but it's my investigation. 